Hello, this is Andrea, and uh, welcome to my craft channel. And I'm going to show you the book I made for a challenge. Um, it's the September Something Special Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge 2022. And uh, that's run by Dear Julie Julie. I'll have a link to the video that explains the challenge and I'll also also the digital kit that I used was um the Halloween digital kit like here's a picture from the Halloween digital kit and I'll have a link to that as well so this is my uh I just started making junk journals this year this is my second junk journal and um I've made other kinds of journals before, but this is my second junk journal. And I made a Halloween one because I wanted to do uh, use this for October daily. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if I'm in frame. <laughs> so it's uh, six. In this this journal is six inches across. It's nine inches tall, and it has a two and a half inch spine. Um, there's 26, there's three, first of all, there's three signatures, one, two, three, with a total of 26 sheets of, uh, 26 sheets of paper, and, uh, that adds up to 104 pages. So, let me open this. Here we go. On the cover, I used, um... This 12 by 12 paper. Uh, what paper pad is it? Midnight Garden by Recollections. The 12 by 12. I made a tassel on. I did a. I did a three hole pamphlet stitch. I made a tassel on the cover, and I put. Um, this is one of the things I made for the challenge. It's got a. It's got a little witch girl in there. And then I made this little bottle cap charm. I have that on there. And then I have this old key that used to be for our house. So I have it on this clip. It's for an old, it's an old lock we don't have anymore. So I can just flip that clip up there. And uh, let's open this. So... I have a double pocket here, and right here is the paper I just used to check off um, all of the requirements I did for the uh, challenge. There's a little mini envelope in here. here this is the double, a double, pa double <laughs> pocket. <laughs> Um, so I did I did the three different signatures I did different themes for. So the first theme I kind of did like a mystery thing. Uh, it, I thought it would be fun to be like there's a ghost story. They don't know how this the husband died and the wife got blamed for it. And anyway, the more I did it, I thought this is getting creepy. But I tried <laughs> I tried to make it fun. So anyway, the first page is this. Uh, bookshelf type thing and my household item that I used was matchboxes so I don't think I would do that again because it was a, <laughs> it was a lot of work but who knows so I have this page and that's just the <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not good at this uh, so this is the um, an embossed page with some napkin on it and a little belly band. I don't I haven't put anything in this one yet. But like you could slip something behind here, see? And some embellishments there. This is just a page that I put this on the back of 
this next page is from Mail, and I just put this on the back. I got it from uh, a book that I have with animals in it. So this is a, a mail page, and, you know, it came through the mail, and it was some kind of medical thing, but I thought this was creepy looking. And uh, this is a, it's really a tuck spot, this envelope here. There's an old stamp. Oh, and I have, here's my embossed embellishment, and when you flip it out, uh-oh, what's that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, this came out creepier than I thought it would. So, uh, here's my book page, and I have it, like, it tore open, and there's, like, some eye looking through. Like, what's the mystery? This is, uh, this is another paper from the Dear Julie, Julie, um, digital, and I have, like, a, an up, a corner tuck up here napkin sticker this is this is from a um what do you call it this is a kind of three by five card but i cut it down here is my playing card page and i made it so it looks like two people are playing cards and there are pockets in here on both sides. There's pockets on this side, but for some reason they came out smaller on this side. I don't know. <laughs> so back here I have, this is another piece of mail. I made a little envelope, a little, well it is an envelope, I made a little pocket. And here's a journaling card that goes in there. Oops. And I think I've put a tuck, yeah, this is a tuck spot back here, so I could put something else back here if I want. Here's the other side of that music page. And here's the other side of that book page. And then I have this flip out here, and it also has a pocket in it. Whoops. See? There's the other side of that animal page. And here's the other side of the embossed page. And over here I have a hidden envelope journaling card. So it's an envelope with a hidden journaling card. There's, there's a video for that on Dear Julie Julie if you want to see how to do that. And then here is an altered playing card, and I stapled it in here as a, a little place to tuck things. And here's the other side of that large envelope. I thought I had something in here. Yeah, it feels like there's something in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a stamp in there. Maybe I should glue that. I don't know why I did it that way. Oh, because I wanted to keep the... It has the Christmas um, cancellation on it, so I wanted to keep it like that. So maybe I'll just close that, and if somebody wants to see it, they can pull it open. So I have this, like, it's a little clue thing. What happened? You know, what happened? And I made this little... <laughs> I took two three by five cards and I made them look like a, what is this called? Like a file folder. And I printed some things really small to make it look like the case. So here's a smaller picture of the woman. This is from the, this is from the Dear Julie Julie Halloween thing. And then I have this house, di this building diagram. I got this on, um, I got this on the New York Public Library digital collection. I just searched for, I don't remember what I searched for, honestly. Um, but I liked the, I don't think I looked for blueprints. I think I looked for something else. But um, if you do that, you got to look for the ones that are public domain. 
So, and then I made a little <laughs> incident report. I did this on Canva, the, the website Canva. And I just wrote some silly things there. I don't know if you can see it. You can pause it if you want to read it. So. And then I just have this tucked in right here. I'll probably add more stuff to the. Oh, I didn't say, but I'm going to be using this journal for my October daily. So. Okay. So the next signature is just kind of lighthearted Halloween stuff. Um, I have this little shaker card. There was a tutorial for this on Dear Julie Julie. And you can write on the back with like silver pen or, or white um, pen. I have that tucked in here. And this is a pa page that I made with um, napkin. You'll see the other half in a few minutes. This is half of the stamped page. <laughs> um, so I have this. This is half of the page that is the clear. We had to use clear um, packaging. And I made this little mini booklet here. One, two, three four, five, six sheets, and um, yeah, I just kind of tucked this into the top of this, sorry my hands shake, <laughs> all right, and here's a side tuck, and another little journaling card. This one has napkin on it. I like the feel of the napkin stuff, but it's hard for me to do the napkin stuff. I think I need to practice it. I notice there's a lot of things I need to practice for this. Um, here's the daub, ink and dauber page. And I have a um, belly band here. And this is another piece of ephemera from the from the Halloween kit from Dear Julie Julie. Have that tucked in there. That's just an extra piece. That's not part of one of the requirement things. Um, yeah, so I have all the required stuff and then I have some extras in here. This is the lined paper. And over here I have, um, I have, oh, it's not a corner toe. Okay, yeah, it's just a, it's a pocket here, and it's a pocket here. And this is another, like, mail envelope that I altered. And the center thing, this is the, this is this pa paper strips. And Julie has a, um, tutorial for this too. If you go to her channel, you can just you can just look up keywords in in the search bar. So, um I also have this this flip this um waterfall flip thing made from uh index card. And here's the other half of the lined paper um, thing. I don't think this is a tuck. No, that's not a tuck. And this is a flip up. So you can write in here. Here's the other half of the ink and dauber page. I have a little journaling spot here. Um, so on this side, I just kind of took a paper clip I had from the dot I had gotten at the Dollar Tree to hold this in here. This is a journaling card, but it's also a pocket, see? And this is another thing from the Halloween kit. 
from the Dear Julie Julie. Oops. E, uh, Etsy shop. Um, here's the other half of the clear packaging page. And I haven't put anything in it yet, but I do like the way you can see the page behind it on there. This is, I think this is the stamping page. Yeah, I showed the other half over here somewhere. Where was it? Yeah, the stamp stamping page. And um, this is the other part of the envelope. The, I mean, not the envelope. This is the other part of the napkin page. And it's I made it into a side tuck. I just kind of stapled this stuff on because I didn't know if the glue would hold onto the paper. So maybe it would, but I don't know. Um, here's another... Oops. Here's a here's an altered paper clip I made, and here's another um, altered playing card, and it has a place to journal on the back. Oops. Okay. And so this last one I did kind of like a, a, a children theme type one or um, or just kind of um, fun type one. And the first page is, this is from the game. Like we had to do put part, something from, we had to use a game. So I made my page with part of the game board I had peeled off. I'll show the other half of it. Here's the other half over here, and then I just made this. It's got ink and dauber and stamp, stamped the owl on there, and a, this is a paper strip. So, um, this is my anything you love page, and I did I did stickers, so it's a whole big sticker collage. This is another thing that I followed a tutorial on, Dear Julie Julie. This is just a paper that I painted. I didn't really like the way it came out, but it, it looks good in here, I think. Um, there's This is a little tuck spot down here made out of a um, 3x5 card, and... Then I have, this is one of my embellishments made out of the 12 by 12 paper. And this is from this, I printed some of the, <laughs> one of the pages I print both in black and white and in color. Um, and this is, this is one of the ones I printed in black and white from the Halloween ephemera kit. I mean, yeah, Halloween digital kit. And this is my 12 by 12 page. And this is, <laughs> this is a card from Old Maid. I just thought it was funny the way he's scared. So, got that there. You can write on this. This is, um... The 3x5 card, the index cards, I keep calling them 3x5 card. The index card page. And this is a tag I made. That fits in there. Um, this, I made this like pretty recently because I saw Julie do a thing where she made stuff with wax paper. And I thought, I want that crinkly thing in my book so I didn't really put anything on it but I put this journaling card I made from book paper this is this is actually <laughs> book paper believe it or not that I, I used a um, reader's digest condensed book and some of the pages are in different colors every now and then 
And here's the other side of the index card page. This is a little, this is a little pocket too, but it's so narrow. I don't even know what I would put in here. So. And here is a little journaling card pocket that I did with paper strips. I had such a hard time doing this because my hands shake a lot and um, getting everything to line up, but I got some ideas of how to do it differently next time. I hope you can see all this. I'm not used to recording from up and down. So here's the other side of that picture that I painted, and I made this little tab out of the 12 by 12 paper. This is the other side of the sticker page, and this is another tuck right up here. I could tuck something in here. And there's places to write. And here's the back of this. And then back here I made this little, well, first of all, I put a, I, I took the two things. I had a couple things left. Uh, I, I had print, I printed multiples of these in different sizes of the pages. And I had a couple things left, so I put them in here in case I want to use them later. And then I have this, oops, I have this hidden paper clip that I made with cards from the game. It's called 1313 Dead End Drive. Look how pretty this picture is. And I, the way I did my book sign, signed my book is I just wrote, you know, handmade by Andrea Fieser, Pennsylvania 2022. And uh, this holds that closed. And that goes in there. So. Oh, and I don't know if I said, oh yeah, I did say that I have the, the information from how I made, or what the requirements were on there. So, I hope you liked the book, and um, yeah, let me know what you think in the description below. And until next time, happy crafting!